Uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Um, welcome to the lecture for DEE 3413 Principle of Communication System for a Diploma Semester 1 Session 2020-2021 Alright, um, so uh, in this first lecture um, I will introduce um, the basic concept of communication uh, where we'll discuss about the meaning and the important elements related to the communication system. So this is uh, chapter 1, Introduction to Communication System. We start with a simple question. So what means by communication? So what is communication? So um, it's very common uh, to say that uh, when uh, we talk about communication, uh, what comes to our mind is uh, we see people talk to each other or uh, convey message or information through various um, mediums for example they talk face to face uh, talk over the phones a uh, sending message or through a uh, chatting through the internet or social media so the meaning of a uh, communication is basically is the exchanging of information between person or group with another person or another group through the communication channel all right so this is the meaning of communication so in this lecture um, we will learn about the principles or the basics a fundamental of a communication system so what means by communication system all right so communication system is a set of hardware or software functioning together to send or receive information from one point to another through various uh, communication medium all right so later on we'll see in more details what means by this uh, send or receive what means by the information and what is the meaning of a uh, various medium here okay uh, let's see um, some uh, history of how the communication system evolved from the early times I mean the ancient or the old time until now the modern time all right so um, in the early times uh, the communication normally or uh, basically happen within a small group or tribes so where people living in one place which is locally they use uh, their own language or signs to communicate to each other and then uh, as the time involved there are needs for them to move outside their areas or they need to communicate or to um, have a connection with another tribes so um, then they start to have a basic distant communication so that time uh, they use a for example smoke signal to send a message between uh, tribes or group that live uh, separate to each other and then uh, there are also times where people use uh, pigeons as their transporter to send or to convey a message or sometimes uh, they were used in war time they use a pigeon to carry a secret message then as the time evolve and comes the development of technology okay and then uh, we start to use a telegraph as a medium of communication and then people's uh, Abraham 
Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, um, created a telephone for the first time, and then uh, we have radio, television, and nowadays we have uh, unlimited communication mediums when we have the internet. Okay, so for the internet, um, we were started with. Um, basic communication 1G, 2G, 3G, now we have 4G and 5G and later on I think in the very near future we might move to another higher levels of uh, super high speed internet of maybe 6G okay so this is how um, communication evolved from the earliest time until now Okay, uh, this is a small um, pictures to show that how uh, the evolution of communication. Um, when people start to communicate to each other, uh, they start to use a simple method of smoke signals and use a pigeon and we start to have a computers and then evolve into wireless. And these days we have uh, unlimited internet access or oh, we also have uh, a new term called Internet of Things where everything seems to be connected to internet from uh, telephones, televisions, air conditioning, machines in the factory all have the connection to the internet where we can actually access uh, all these things from anywhere in the world. Uh, people from uh, across the globe in America uh, can actually follow what happening in Malaysia in real times and similarly we in Malaysia can also know what our friends doing in Korea in Japan in real times because of the advance of uh, communication technology all right a very basic concept of communication when we um, discuss about communication there are a number of elements that must be present so that the communication can happen. So in basic daily communication, for example, in our human communication daily, so in order for communication to happen, so we must have one side as a speaker, another side, which is maybe our friend as a listener, and we have a medium for communication. We have a language uh, we can communicate between uh, using face-to-face uh, -face, uh, through wave propagation or we can use a telephone. And normally uh, there are another elements which is called as noise which uh, normally present through all this medium. So uh, a very basic setting for communication is speaker, listener, medium or channel, and then noise. Okay, let's look into a more uh, technical definition of uh, communication system. Okay. What are the elements that must be present uh, in order for an uh, communication system to be established? All right, so it's just now we see that there are three elements divided into the um, this can be considered as the speaker or transmitter side this is a transmitter side and then this is a channel or medium and then we have all this on the uh, receiver side okay a complete um, communication system uh, consists of a message, transducer, modulator, and transmitter element. And we must have a medium or channel to transmit the message. Okay, from transmitter to the receiver, it must go through the channel or medium. Okay, and then when the message arrives at the receiver side, we have a receiver, demodulator, output transducer, and also the output message. 
Okay, let's look into uh, each of these elements. So input message is basically what we are going or uh, what we are using to communicate between uh, our, let's say, our friends. So input message can be uh, speech, voice, uh, video data, or image, or maybe we send a WhatsApp message to our friend, it's going to be tagged as our input message. All right, and then uh, this input message is captured by input transducer. For example, in terms of a uh, voice or speech when we talk over the phone, so the input transducer will be our, for example, the microphone. So microphone will capture the voice signal and then convert the voice signal into the input signal in terms of the electrical signal. Okay, so transducer convert the our voice into the electrical signal. So in order for the voice to be sent through the channel, um, we they have to go through a process of um, carrying the frequency or amplitude of the signal into the transmitter. So we'll discuss about the modulator and demodulator concept here later on in more details. And then the electrical signal, the modulated signal here, which is uh, whether in terms of, okay, uh, maybe it's a frequency modulated or amplitude modulated signal is sent into the uh, transmitter and the transmitter will go through this channel or medium. Okay, example of the channel is maybe uh, optical connection between um, transmitter and receiver or it can be a wireless medium or it can be wired medium. Okay, uh, I will talk about this uh, in more details later. And then when um, the transmitted signal arrive at the receiver, the uh, receiver will pass the modulated signal into the demodulator which separate between the carrier signal and the original signal which carries the uh, speech, video, image and text data. This is still in terms of the electrical signal. Okay. So, the electrical signal will be passed through the output transducer and then it will display or uh, produce the original message okay so the output transducer could be a lcd display or it could be a speaker to listen to the uh, voice or speech or it could be any alert or um, video display okay so that we can watch television and then we'll have our original message here for example here we send a text of uh, let's go for lunch okay so this message will be sent through this transmitter through the mediums and then arrive at the receiver and at the end your friend will receive the same message let's go for lunch okay so these are the um, elements of communication system so we must have a basically a transmitter site a channel or medium and then the receiver side. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this uh, at the channel through the transmission, normally there will be a noise present here. So, it will cause some distortion or disruption to the original signal. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, some uh, I think I will sk skip this one first. Uh, I will explain later on. Okay. All right. Uh, what are the uh, medium of communication? Uh, medium or channel of communication is basically um, a methodology of how um, message or information uh, can be exchange or transmit or receive between uh, transmitter and receiver 
okay so the channel or the medium will be in between the transmitter and the receiver side so uh, we can use a um, number of uh, channel of communication to transmit information for example we can have a wire which is a uh, connected through wire or we also have a wireless communication you can use a radio wave to transmit through the radio frequency and we can have a such of a optical cable for example internet use a optical cables which uh, been uh, laid out buried under the sea all right so this is a medium of communication Beside the medium of communication, uh, there are another terms that we have to know uh, when we talk about the communication, which is the modes of communication. How is the communication is, be is happening between two points or between one group to another? All right. Basically, there are three uh, modes of communication, uh, which known as the first one is a simplex, half duplex and full duplex modes. As for the simplex modes communication, uh, the data can only move from one direction to another. All right. For example, from this computer A, it will send directly to uh, computer or to the display. Uh, the example for simplex communication is, for example, a radio or television channel, which um, they are only one way of uh, sending the data where uh, the television uh, provider uh, send the video and audio and we watch or we listen to the radio at home. Okay, this is a simplex. Uh, second type or second mode of communication is what we call as half duplex. Half duplex is allow the data to move between one direction to another direction once at one time. All right, let's say we have uh, two computers here or two points, which is A and B. Okay, uh, A side can only send a data at one time, and at that time, B cannot send anything. And the other hand, when the B is sending any data to the A side, so the A cannot send any data, it just wait to receive the data. So, this is the half duplex. Example is, for example, walkie-talkie. Okay, walkie-talkie is a simple example of half duplex modes. All right, the last one is a full duplex. Uh, you might can expect here. So, the data transmission or the data exchange can happen at any direction at all the time. Okay, so if we have um, one or two point here a and b so both a and b can send and receive data at once uh, at all time okay without waiting the other side to send and the other side to receive okay so this is modes of communication so communication can happen uh, not only from only one to one communication can happen between one to one communication for example we're talking uh, over the phone to our friend or it can happen one to many where the television uh, channel transmitter and uh, we are the viewers at home okay uh, can receive the television program or it can happen between one to many to many okay many people interconnected you are in um, for example whatsapp group you can connect to uh, different peoples at once okay and then you can also have a uh, video conference which can uh, talk to many to many all right so um, down here is the old model normally uh, old model means that technology only allow from uh, one to many but these days most of the uh, technology or system is uh, reflecting to the many to many communication where people can communicate to uh, many people many channels at one time okay all right so what are types of communication that we uh, have uh, in communication system? So basically, uh, there are two types of communication system. Uh, the first one is analog communication and the second one is uh, digital communication. Uh, details about this uh, will be discussed uh, later. All right. 
So uh, analog communication is basically uh, sending signal, uh, continuous signal like here over the time, all right? And the digital communication is sending a discrete, okay? Analog sending the um, continuous signal. And then the digital is uh, sending the discrete signal, okay? So analog can take the whole values, okay? From minus infinity to uh, infinity. Uh, as for the digital, uh, signals can only take a uh, value of 0 or 1, okay? As you learn in digital electronics. Okay? We'll discuss about this later uh, in the next coming video all right that's all uh, for the uh, basic okay that's all for um, introduction to the um, communication system so um, so um, basically um, what you need to understand uh, throughout this lecture is uh, the meanings of communication uh, what are the elements of a communication system, a modes of communication, and how does the uh, information is uh, transfer between um, transmitter and receiver side, which is the uh, medium or channel of communication. So I also introduce uh, uh, two types of communication, which is a uh, digital and analog communication. We'll discuss about this uh, in more details in next lecture. So until then, um, uh, please do the revision and we'll uh, see each other later. Thank you very much.